Welcome to this review of the Brooks Caldera 5s. We're going to have a look at the positives and negatives of these in a moment, but firstly a quick rundown of the technical spec. So they come in at 10.6 ounces for men's and 9.4 ounces for women's. There's a 4mm drop in total and that's with a 4 foot height of 28mm and a heel height of 32mm. They're a trail shoe and the arch support is described as neutral. So in this video I'm going to be breaking down my thoughts on the Brooks Caldera 5s after 200 miles. I've used them for trails, as you can see they are nice and muddy. Uh, I've used them for a couple of ultra marathons, a 50k and a 60k. And I feel that after a couple of hundred miles in these I've now got a feel of uh, my thoughts on them, uh, the positives, the negatives and hopefully some things of use here that if you're thinking of buying these that you'll uh, you know, be able to think, well, uh, do I want to invest? Uh, or if you have got them already, just to see if it's chimes with your own experience of using them. So I'm going to be reviewing them in terms of four key factors, comfort, durability, versatility, and finally affordability. So we'll get right into it. We'll start with comfort. They're a really comfortable shoe overall, probably my most comfortable trail shoe. They've got really nice cushioning, which lasts for uh, long distances and you really feel well supported um, over you know 50k 60k is the longest I've done in them and yeah it really, really feels easier on the joints in a shoe like this than it does in comparison to some others on the flip side because of that big stack height that you've got it does mean that you have to get used to yeah being quite high up I suppose and they can feel a little bit unstable at first but I have got used to that and it's got a, you know much easier in terms of other things relating to comfort, so there's a really good uh, heel support around this. So you've got a nice uh, plush uh, inner on the on the upper here, if that makes sense. Uh, and it means that your foot is really nicely locked in. It feels almost like your foot is being sucked into the shoe. So very good support. You feel uh, like your, your foot is very connected with the shoe, which is great. Uh, other thing to think about in terms of of comfort is the width so I'm someone who's got wide feet and I found that the width in these is great there's a good bit of room in the toe box so that's particularly good if you're doing long, long distances and your feet are swelling um, so yeah that's been that's been a real positive for for me with the Brooks Caldera 5s and you know I've had these for 200 miles so far there hasn't been great wear on on the bottom of them so if I look at the lugs there's a couple of lugs where a little bit's worn away um, on the inside of it, but overall the yeah, the sole is still looking very very good on these I mean you probably can't see it through the mud, but uh, In terms of how well they fared uh, on a variety of trains like gravel rock Going over mud going over roots in woods. Uh, they seem to have dealt pretty well with that The upper there's no significant wear whatsoever. Oh my watch is buzzing at me telling me to that I should start moving I'll ignore that uh, so you know not much significant wear um, on the upper at all uh, a little you know very minor wear on on the inner of the the heel but nothing too significant overall so yeah i think really good in terms of durability and i expect that these will last me for another three four hundred miles potentially and they're you know they'll, they'll still be holding up um in that that time as well so versatility I would say overall that these are a fairly versatile shoe. You know, I've run a couple of miles on roads to get to trails for these, and they deal okay with that. Um, the thing I would say is that they're a little bit bulky as a shoe. You know, when I first saw them in the shop, I thought, wow, this is some kind of uh, freak giant monster shoe. Um, so they, you know, they, do, they don't feel an elegant shoe, uh, I would say. So, you know, not ideal for, for very technical terrain uh, or running on the road, really. Um, it's It's more kind of, trails that uh, that have minor technicality to them that these work well for so yeah not the most elegant not the most speedy shoe necessarily but saying that there is a good energy return so I'd say you know these aren't a speed shoe but they are maybe speedier than you might think with the the energy return because of um, you know that that potential to kind of push you off further with you know this this stack height uh, so yeah not the most versatile shoe overall but you can certainly use them for a couple of miles and roads if you're getting to trails um, but you know maybe not good for the most technical ter terrain or the the most muddy terrain either because the lugs don't have you know a, a significant depth to them overall 
Uh, so these are about 120 pounds in total. Uh, it's a difficult one here because I tend to think that um, almost all trail shoes are overpriced uh, for, for what they are. Uh, I, th I think that there's been significant inflation in trail shoes in the last couple of years. Um, and that means that, yeah, in the end, I don't think any uh, any shoe in, in a kind of higher end above the hundred pounds mark is, is that affordable really. Uh, but, you know, if I compare them to other shoes that are out there on the market, if I think about the, the quality of the textile in the upper, um, and in terms of the, the kind of flow of the shoe overall, in terms of the materials used, then yeah, they're probably fair value for, for what they are. Ultimately, they are a really good workhorse shoe. Uh, I would say they can just work and work, they can eat up the miles, they're reliable. Uh, so because of that, I think on balance, yeah, it's it's fairly good for, for what they're they're charging for them. So those are my thoughts on the Brooks Caldera 5s. Overall, a really good workhorse shoe that can battle through the miles and miles with their significant cushioning. Uh, width is good. The only thing to bear in mind is that they are a bit bulky, so they're maybe not the most elegant or speedy shoe, but you know, still I think a really good buy all the same. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. So I've got other videos like this one up on the channel, as well as stuff about park runs, trails, marathons, ultras, etc. Thanks very much for tuning in.